This is the Shisho TV. One one ni Morocco Omari, actor from Hollywood. Yeah, from Empire, from Ramosi P Valley, Twenty One Bridges. Yeah, I'm with you. Gala, the guru, and our actors. Had a film ready to panga, go call it in a hanga. Jere, we're gonna ring busy too. Jere, I'm here in studio. Give me the vibe, you know. Come in a eye shot, hard ya kui shisho. Jere, come on, we're gonna phone it a Sony. Arama magai. Thank you very much for giving us some time, Mr. Morocco. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I love to. Uh, you you love Kigali, man. I, I know I know that for a fact. <laughs> I know a couple of things about you. You love Africa <laughs> yeah. as a whole. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, this is besides you being, you know, an American film, television, mm. screen actor, producer, you know, director, and all of these accolades that we can sit here and talk about. Sheesh, you make yeah. me feel old, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many years in the acting? Like tw uh, 26? Yeah, right? about 25, 26 years. Yeah, 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 yeah man, that's, that's dope. That's awesome. Yeah, so I know you love uh, Rwanda. Mm. You know you love Africa. Mm. You, you came to Africa first of all in 2006? 2006, 2006 uh -huh. Mombasa, yeah. Mombasa was yeah, your first? Mombasa was you my took first. took your African virginity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, You can yeah. say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, since then uh, you've been to how many? I know you went to two of 54 countries. Yes, I spent 18 countries so far. 18 countries yeah, so far. Yeah, I've been since 2006. Mm. And uh, Kenya was my first. Mm. Um, I've been back and forth to Kigali many times. Mm. Uh, the last, the newest place I visited was Tunisia, mm -hmm. uh, in North Africa. Yeah. Uh, I wanted okay. to see Carthage, mm. and uh, it was it was amazing, man. Amazing mm -hmm. to see the the uh, you know the infrastructure, the the uh, the homes and the houses and the art and. Mm. But it's not, it's not Kigali, it's not Rwanda. Yeah, I understand. I, I, understand, I, understand. I, I yeah. believe, I believe Africa is beautiful on the whole. Though, yeah. You know, on the whole. And what would you say, growing up uh, in Chicago, mm -hmm. you know, the shy, mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. I call it the shy? You can call it the shy. Yeah, I'm a bit shy. Yeah. I'm <laughs> talking about Chicago, you know. Yeah, yeah we, we, we hear all this rap music, you might just get shot up oh. there. It's a tough neighborhood, isn't it? Um, I mean, the thing about, we have a big, gun culture not just in chicago but okay. in america in the US, okay. yeah there's a gun culture um there's a lot of i guess fear mm. you know when mm. you when you, you know so people think they need guns or to whatever so themselves. yeah to protect themselves and uh i mean it's very unfortunate um i know a few people who died of gun violence um, officers that i've served with in the marine corps as well as you know men that i grew up with you know, so yeah. it's unfortunate, but yeah. uh, it's a great city. It's 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 always home. It's always you know, home. I always love it, and it, you know, you say what what where you brought up, it makes you makes you the person who you are, and mm -hmm. you always carry that in your heart. Mm -hmm. Even though I love Rwanda, Chicago, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was my birthplace, and it it really taught. I learned a lot of life lessons, mm -hmm. uh, good and bad. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. you know, you don't. I have no regrets on how I grew up, you know, mm. because it made me the storyteller and the artist and the man that I am. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I, lo I love the pride that you have in that. You yeah. know, No matter mm. what, no matter the positives, the negatives, mm. it all adds up, you know, to mm. to, to to make up who you are. Right. And uh, being from a tough neighborhood, you had to endure life. You had to be a successful. You know, mm. make a successful man out of yourself, which sure. you, you, you did. And I would yeah. like to just ask you, how, how would, I mean, you know, here in Rwanda, maybe we, we, we're grateful, uh, fortunate. We mm. do not have the same conditions. Mm. Maybe we have different conditions. Of course. But the young men here might suffer from the same things, like mm. uh, pressure to conform, you know, uh, 
not being able to pursue your dream, uh, being forced to become somebody, you know, mm -hmm. that other people want you to become yeah. and not necessarily finding the strength from yourself to mm -hmm. fight and, you know, I read somewhere that as a man, you are a sculptor mm -hmm. and, and the stone at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you're the one who's making the, you know, the art analogy. and you are the, 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 the stone at the same time. Yeah. So what advice, you know, life advice that have you maybe hmm. got as a man yeah. You know, that you can transform, you can give us one and young men over here that can help us really, you know, make the best out of ourselves. Well, I, I mean, it starts with a dream, you know what I'm saying? And you have to say, okay, if this is what I want as a career, or this is the kind of lifestyle I want, how do I go about it legally? <laughs> to have okay, it? Yeah. You know what I'm That's saying? Important, yeah. To have it. Yeah. You know, what, what are the sacrifices? What, are the work, what is the work I have to put in? You know what I mean? What kind of education do I need yeah. to become this person? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can never give up on yourself. Mm -hmm. If you give up on your own dream, mm -hmm. who's gonna support it? Yeah. You gotta believe it, you gotta want it. Every morning you gotta wake up and you gotta work towards your dreams and your goals. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How do I get here? What do I need? I mean, you know, the young people today, you have so much information. We always, we, everybody carries around a pocket computer. Yes. So anything you want to know is on that computer, yes. pretty much that phone. Yes. And I, you have to say, how do I work towards my goal every day, mm. every, day. every day? You know what I mean? Mm. And it's, and it's hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I came, I came out of the military, you know, I tried to go back to college and then I was just like, I had one acting class. All the other classes, I'm in there like, oh man, I'm tired, I'm bored. Yeah. But the acting class, I was alive. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Mm -hmm. Hmm, maybe this acting thing. Yeah. So I dropped out and took, I'm not telling people to drop out of school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I started taking classes around the city of Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And then I started doing theater. And then from theater, you start doing TV and film. Yeah. You know, and then you start writing and you produce and you direct and you just, you know, you just find your way, yeah. but you put in that work. If I put in 100%, eventually I'll get out 100%. Yeah. I can't be like, oh, I'm gonna just put in, you know, I'm gonna just do a little something today. Then you're not gonna get out what you put in, you know what I'm saying? So you have to invest in yourself. Yeah. You have to say, okay, no no one else has to believe your dream. Mm. No one believe my dream. Yeah. Like, oh, you want to be an actor, you want to be on TV, you want to be, uh, yeah. ah, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. But now that you're doing it, it's like, man, I remember when you said, oh man, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So you, yeah. you have to believe in your own dream. As mm -hmm. big, make it as big as you want it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you have to. You're the only one with the frequency to understand or yeah. to s visualize And it. the mind believes what you tell it. Yeah. Whatever you feed your mind, mm. you know what I mean? If you yeah. p feed it positivity and I'm successful and I'm going to make it and I'm going to be, I mean, my, my hero is Muhammad Ali. Mm. His brother said, he said, at 10, 11, 12 years old, he said, I'm going to be the most pop popular athlete in the world. And he became wow. that. 10 years I'm going to be the greatest. Yeah. And he became, he that. became that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So a lot of you, if you listen to a lot of successful people, they always had this mentality and they fed there. Jim Carrey, he said he went up to the Hollywood Hills before he made it, used to look down at all the lights and said, I'm famous. And he wrote himself a check for $10 million and dated it and got a film. Yeah, you can look this up and got a film and buried that check with his father because his father passed away wow. and became this successful movie star. But he fed his mind, this yeah. is what I want, this yeah. is what I want, this yeah. is what I want. The, today I'm going to be this, I'm going to do, you know Manifest, what I mean? Manifest, yeah. Any, yeah, you have to manifest your destiny. <laughs> that's, that's what it wow, is. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so back to Africa, mm. uh, you, you, have, um, you have toured, oh, you have visited 18 and there's still more on the list. Sure. And uh, what would you say differentiates Africa to like Africa as a whole, not the 18 different countries, just Africa as a whole, as a continent? What, what would you say differentiates Africa to the rest of the places you visited? Like the rest of the countries in the world that I've yeah, been to? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> I can say I, 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 I come here to relearn what humanity is. Humanity humanity what yeah. sh what it is to be human yeah. to be respectful yeah. to smile to look people in the eye to uh, to be humble mm -hmm. 
uh, to hear the stories and, and see the traditions. Because that's something that we, African Americans, have been cut off from. We don't have, our, we don't, you know, we can do our African ancestry and say, oh, okay, I'm from here. Mm. But we don't have the traditions. Mm. We don't have, we don't, we don't have the food. We don't have the music. We don't have that. Mm. We have to find it. You know what I mean? Mm. Whereas I have uh, friends who are Zulu or uh, Posa or uh, I like that. Or Zulu, you know, or, yeah, you say better or than my, me. <laughs> or Maasai, which well. and they have their tribal marks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my friends who are uh, Yoruba mm. or Ibu, mm. they have their marks, and you're just like, wow, this tradition, this family, this. Uh, mm. It's something. It's it's you know like the the tree has its roots, mm. and the foundation of it. And that foundation is strong in Africa. Mm. So my connection to Africa is that. It's just like I come here for, for all of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So compared to my country where I, you know, and we all have, each, every country faces something. Mm. You know, no yeah, country everybody. is perfect, yes. you know. Uh, but I don't have to deal with racism. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my country is, a, yeah. you know, under the last administration, <laughs> it just got really... Bad. And it's still not not saying it was. I don't even think it was ever better. Mm -hmm. It was probably just not as out in the open as transparent as it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. and, it, and I love my country. I fought for my country. You know what I mean? I put my life on on the line right. for my country. But you know, it's it's like that sibling. You just like I don't like you today. I love you, but I don't <laughs> like you. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's some things about you that I just don't like. Yeah, I don't agree you know? with this. And um, so I come here to get my humanity back, back. that oh. warmth. Mm. It's relaxing, and especially Rwanda. It's, it's very uh, relaxing for me. You wow. know? A friend of mine told me that Morocco is, is building a house in Rwanda. I was like, no. No, he's building who a heard home. that, man? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> he's building a home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big facts. And, and, uh, and, right. uh, and I read, I read uh, all over, I see uh, on the news, mm. I see we have some African Americans, some great, some, you know, celebrities yeah. who are now coming back to Africa. Good. And there's some, there some Akon interviews where mm. he's like, it, it, used, it didn't used to be a thing back in the day, you know, but now, mm. you know, we have mm. more African Amer Americans more open, you know, to visiting the motherland. Yeah. So in your own your opinion, what would it take to have more, ultimately more African Americans visit? Because I read comments that these videos, like a virtual tour, you know, around Kigali, virtual tour around uh, mm. Kenya, Nairobi or something. Mm. And you always see the comments. People are like, wow, I'm from New Jersey. Oh, I'm from, I don't know, LA. I never thought Africa was like this. Wow, I love these videos. I want to come and see it for myself. So what can we do maybe collectively as a people to inspire more African Americans to visit? Well, it's, it's not really, in, it's not really what, you people can, can do, do over here. Okay. It's not what the brothers and sisters in mm. Africa can do. Yeah. It's more of the media in America. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if the media, you know, media is one of the strongest, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. when it affects your mind. So if you only show Africa as when you see it, Ebola or mm. some kind of HIV or famine or, you know what I'm saying, yeah, African yeah. killer bee, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if that's yeah. only, the step, if that's the only image they show, yeah. In America, mm. you know what I mean. Mm. That turns people like, oh man, because you know my my family is still like my my grandmother lives in one of the toughest neighborhoods in Chicago. Yeah, and she's like, you going to Africa? Be careful. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Be yeah. careful. Yeah, I understand. You got like yeah. 600 mass shootings in America yeah. last year. Yeah. 600 mass mm. shootings. Yeah. Um, so, so it's more of the media has done a, a job on us. They really did a job. Yeah. Not even just before, even during slavery, the transatlantic slave trade, when you put, you know, young against old, woman against man, light mm -hmm. against dark, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So you separated, so you had some Africans or brothers and sisters working in the house and the other ones were working in the field and these people thought they were better than those people yeah. because they got to sleep, sleep in the house and eat better food and wear clothes mm. or wear better clothes. Mm. You know what I mean? So you create this tension and it's dissension amongst the people. Mm. 
You know what I mean? And every generation, you're passing it on and passing it on and passing it on, and you're getting further and further away from the African culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, once upon a time, when, they, when we first landed in America and South America, all we wanted to do was get back. Mm -hmm. And then two, three generations on down the line, it's like, Africa, what's that? You mm -hmm. don't even know that you don't speak the language anymore. You don't mm -hmm. you don't study the religion. You don't you know don't what I mean? Connected. You don't eat the food. Mm -hmm. You're totally disconnected. Yeah. So you become more westernized. Mm -hmm. So now you have this generation 400 and something years later. They're like, huh? Africa. I don't want to go there mm -hmm. because they're afraid okay. because of the stigma or because of the few African brothers and sisters you meet in America and maybe they were mean to you mm. or maybe they they didn't show you love or you know what I'm saying mm. and I think that a whole continent is speaks for those few few mm. but if a brother and sister from America mm. is mean to you yeah. or don't show you respect yeah. you don't write off American no. African -American. Yeah. <laughs> just so, so few, it makes no sense Americans. so it's yeah. it's we have to get rid of our own brainwashing. Mm -hmm. And I think the more, more of us are coming, I've, I've, and since I've been coming, I've brought probably over 20 people here. Wow, and they've returned and they loved it and they had a great time. And I always give them a guarantee. I'm like, if you don't like it, mm -hmm. I'll give you your money back. Wow. I'll pay for your flight and hotel. And you've never... I've never had Paid. anybody say, man, yeah. <laughs> man, it sucks. It sucks. No, they love it. They come That's here, they're just like, mm. it's almost like, you know how when you find out that this whole thing was a lie, mm. they get one of my boys got off the plane and he was like, "Yo," I was like, "I told you, <laughs> what you thought? You know, yeah. get, get off the plane and it's gonna be jungle, lions yeah. and <laughs> lions coming. We gotta fight lions to get out of yeah. here and something like that. No, yeah, yeah. you know, no, it's not like that, yeah. man. It's it's like it's 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 really paradise. Mm. Wow. You, when you look around, you're just like, man, this is paradise, man. Wow, I love you know. That. Yeah. So as a person who has been on the line before, mm. do you think is, we all agree that war is not a, is, is not a good thing, mm. peace over war, right? Yeah. But is it possible to live in a world without war? Is, mm -hmm. is, is it a possibility? Wouldn't that be beautiful? Right? <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be beautiful? Mm -hmm. I, I, I would like to see that day. Mm. I just don't, you know, I don't know if we'll ever see that day because it's just like, <laughs> you know, if you find billions of dollars worth of gold or mm -hmm. some kind of precious metal somewhere, mm -hmm. there's going to be someone who wants to go down there that's not a part of that country mm -hmm. and wants to go and usurp the wealth. And, get it, yeah. and how do you do that? Then you start fighting fighting yeah 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 you know what i mean yeah there's two birds fight over the worm then the eagle scoops down yeah <laughs> like, here i am i'm gonna get let y'all yeah. fight over here yeah, so yeah. i can go and get All this right. yeah. and that was the plan yeah. so i mean i think you know when you have greed mm. um people want more power mm -hmm. different religious beliefs or whatever man or it, it just, I don't know, man. It, it, people have their such, I, their strong beliefs that it's like, if you just sit back and you listen, like I like to learn about different religions. I, mm. you know, I grew up, I was just curious. Let me find it. Mm. Let me read a little bit of this. Let me learn a bit about, a, about that. Let me, you know, let me figure this out. Mm. But everybody, it's just like, no, I grew up this way and I'm gonna be this way and my kids are gonna be and my grandkids. And mm. you know what I mean? So. Yeah. It, it's hard to, as we say. To ever see that day? Yeah, it's the brainwashing of, yeah. you know, this is how I am, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. And, to, and people hate you and they haven't even had a conversation with you. you. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, isn't it? So you, you are pescatarian. <laughs> when you getting this yeah. road? <laughs> This is weird, man. Yeah. Where, just, like, where does this guy come from? I just, just want to <laughs> see if I want to. you work for I'm for gonna, real, man? If I'm, gonna, uh, if yeah, I'm get, going to uh, get yeah. inspired, maybe. Because uh -huh. it's the first time I've, I've heard of this. I know vegetarians, yeah. and vegans, our friends who are vegetarians, mm -hmm. and. I, it's the first time I've heard of a pescat. So I would like to ask just what are the benefits you, that you have seen as maybe <laughs> I might be a pescat. Uh, you know, I no, might I, join in. I mean, you know, it's like I. I uh, I gave up beef, like red meat, 
when I was about 26, mm -hmm. five years ago. <laughs> 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 but I, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd stop eating beef and like once a week I'd have this sandwich that they make in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And every day I ate that sandwich, I felt like very tired, very lethargic, like, oh yeah. man, because your body's processing mm -hmm. the meat. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, I'm gonna give it up. I gave that up. And then like, as just December 27, 2017, I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna stop eating chicken and I'm gonna stop eating turkey for like 30 days. Okay. Let me see if I can do it, you know, because I, I love some, I love some chicken, man. I love some bird, man. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, some bird, yeah. So, uh, 30 days have turned into now. 2017, wow. December 7, December 27, 2017, up mm -hmm. into now, mm -hmm. I've only eaten fish. Mm -hmm. um, unlike, you know, Rwanda and other countries in Africa, mm -hmm. our food is a little bit gener. You know, the chicken, the chicken's like this, yo. The yeah, chicken yeah, wings like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, yo, like what's up? <laughs> You're like, yo, I mean, this big chicken right now, right? So the the, the food is big, man. They're yeah, pumping it up with some muscle, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> And you have to search for organic food. Oh, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not that the fish is organic either, because mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of times it's farm raised or whatever, mm -hmm. geometrically modified. And yeah. you just but I said, let me just eat fish. And I haven't missed, you know, chicken and Indeed. turkey. You know, oh. I mean you know yeah. I'm like, oh man, I like to get some you know, Jamaican jerk chicken, mm -hmm. but you know, you smell it, you're like, oh, well, let me get the jerk <laughs> fish. Give me that. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, yeah, so yeah, I can yeah, get yeah, it. Um, yeah. So yeah, man, I'm good. Uh, it's yeah. just been cool, man. It's, it's been cool, yeah. it's been healthy. And then you look at the history of your family on both sides, so there are health problems, and that's because they eat whatever. Mm. So I was just like, well, let me be a little bit more stricter with my diet, yeah. you know what I mean? And take mm -hmm. care, you have to take care, you just like, take care of your body so you eat to live or you live to eat mm -hmm. you know and I have to be very specific now I cheat but I'm just like I'll eat yeah. I'll try to eat good and mm -hmm. stay away from fried foods and mm -hmm. all the sugars and stuff no. I'll just try to eat you know as oh, well as possible organic food yeah that I <laughs> especially in America bro you yeah. gotta be careful <laughs> <laughs> You'll be dead, like yo. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So let's dive more into 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 your work a little bit. You know, you 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 have mm. um, acted, of course, in all these movies, yeah. dope movies, you know, mm, thank and you. TV, uh, film, theater. I haven't watched any, you know, theater plays. You, you no, played. I don't think they're online or anything. Yeah, like that. yeah. Thank God. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but but uh, you have rock acting works rocks. Yeah. acting workshop yeah, yeah, yeah. i've seen that you've been in different african countries yeah. you've been in botswana you've been in nigeria kenya uganda yeah. rwanda am i missing yeah. any one out cameroon cameroon yeah you know yeah. and you just get there you meet filmmakers african filmmakers filmmakers right. on the ground right local filmmakers you have a conversation with them you have yeah. workshops with them yeah. you know w what inspired this you know uh, um, I, you know, like it, the first one was in Botswana, mm -hmm. and that was great. And I felt I was like, "Ooh, this is good." And then um, the second one was in, I believe, Kenya. Mm -hmm. Was it Kenya or Rwanda? Anyway, it was just like, "Well, let's just do them in every country I go to." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just felt good meeting the artist community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because as artists, Artists, artists are brilliant people. People think, oh, you're just an actor. And I was like, man, you, you don't understand the research that goes into this, man. Or you sit down with an artist and you just have a different way that they paint the world. It's not just like, I learned this from a book. You're just like, no, I've learned this from traveling and just artistic, this artistic way of looking at things. You know what I mean? Um, so it was great to just plug in with the artistic community. And it just kind of just, I didn't, you know, I hadn't planned on doing it. It just kind of happened. <laughs> it happened. Okay. It happened. And yeah. then I started meeting filmmakers and, you know, uh, producing some films and, and stuff like that. So I'm very excited about it. I want to get back to doing it. You know, due to COVID, you didn't want to disrespect the country because, like, the last couple of times I was here was just COVID and you didn't want. 40, 50 people mm -hmm. in close proximity, you know, I don't want nobody coming for me. <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I've been real chill with, with you know, um, 
you know, doing the workshops in, 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 in the motherland lately. I did, I did Cameroon last year mm -hmm. because it was a big film festival and they wanted me to um, mm -hmm. help out and I said, cool. Yeah. But yeah, man, um, I enjoy it. I've, I've met some great artists. It's, it's some incredible stories that need to be told. Yeah. Um, beautiful, lovely actors that I, I, I look forward to seeing more of their work. Uh, and like writers, man, I, I, I enjoy the writing because I come here and I get an education. Mm -hmm. There's stories that will never make it over there, mm -hmm. but you hear them here and you're like, whoa, let's, let's, you know, let's shoot this, let's do this, or this person I didn't know anything about, you know. Um, so there's great, dense, incredible stories mm -hmm. need, that need to be told, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Their voices need to be out. You know, because uh, I think I think it's worthy. I mm -hmm. think it's incredible, and I'm blown away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you look for in a script? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, I like I look for a story that blows me away. Mm -hmm. I'm all Karis. One had a song called Edutainment. Edutainment. So you educate me and you entertain, entertain me at the yes. same time. Yeah. So I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I like I like when I hear a story. I'm like, whoa, something that makes you lean in, and something that isn't predictable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, the some of the scripts that I've I've read in, in Rhonda, mm -hmm. it was the same subject, mm -hmm. and I was like, no, you don't. Rhonda's more than that. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful country. There's more stories mm -hmm. than just this topic. And there's no reason to keep touching this topic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Respect. You know, but you have to give me more stories. Mm -hmm. Same with other countries. I don't want to see the abused woman. Uh, mm -hmm. There's more to it, mm -hmm. more to life than that. Mm -hmm. um, there are more heroes. There are more, uh, you know, love stories there's more give me comedy you know it, give mm. me something that you know mm. that inspires me mm. you know what i mean and that's mm. why i got behind the girl in the yellow jumper mm. uh because it was a movie the brother sent me a sent me a scene that he had shot mm. i was like whoa he sent me the trailer i was like whoa it was shot beautifully the acting was great mm. i liked the tone of it the scene was very intense, mm. and I said, send me the script. I read the script, and I was like, yeah, I like this. Give me <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. This gives me the, um, the Coen brothers, you know mm. what I'm saying? You had a little comedy, yeah. you know, some drama, some, you know, some bang, bang, shoot em up stuff in it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I said, how much you need to raise? And we raised the money, we're able to complete the, the movie, and yeah. it's running on uh, Netflix, that was the first wow. Ugandan film on Netflix. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Like, <laughs> I, love, I love that. I heard the story that, that the brother, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm hoping you're speaking about Lukman, because mm -hmm. uh, the first commercial I ever acted in Rwanda, mm -hmm. he, he's the one who shot it. Uh. Yeah. So, and then he was telling us, you know, with the Hervé, he's like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to do some films, man. You know, how about we do some films together? Mm -hmm. How about we do some films? We're like, okay, all right, all right. And then after a few years, I hear he's working on a film, uh -huh. you know, and he's working with the Morocco. I'm like, there's no way. And then Girl in the Yellow Jumper comes out. Yeah. And then I'm like, where is this dude's number again? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, I, and that is a beautiful, just from yeah. you spotting it and, you know, working yeah. with him and completing yeah. everything. That, yeah. that was beautiful. No, and you know, it's, uh, thank you. Uh, I think, Steve Martin said, be so good that they can't deny you. Mm -hmm. I love that. So mm -hmm. everything was shot so well, and the script was just like, oh, this is something I haven't read over here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. Sure, like I said, it reminded me of Quentin Tarantino. I know that's his influence, and that's great. Mm -hmm. But I said, you know what? This works. Yeah. And the budget he needed, I was like, oh, yeah, we can get that. Yeah, you know? Good. So to see it go from him emailing me to Netflix is, is, is amazing. It's amazing. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful, yeah. and it's a celebration mm -hmm. for not just Uganda, but for Africa, period. Yeah. Because you, the thing about a Netflix or any big streaming company, mm. they're looking at numbers. 
So of course they're going to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, Nigeria is number two as far as throwing movies out and consuming movies. Mm. Net Netflix subscriptions. If you're going by oh, subscriptions, that alone, number two. Exactly, that is the number. Okay. It's like, well, how many subscriptions are in Rwanda? Oh, a hundred thousand. <laughs> Why should we invest in a movie here? It doesn't. Make you know what I'm saying? Sense. How many? How many subscribers in Nigeria? Oh. 10, 15 million, million. Mm. plus you've got Nigerians in America mm. and Nigerians in Europe. The diaspora, yeah. Boom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put an office and a lot in Nigeria. Mm. We're going to go to South Africa and do uh, TV shows in South mm. Africa and shoot movies there and, and put, because of the numbers, how many, how many subscriptions, how many subscribers in yeah. South Africa? Yeah. Millions. Mm. So for Uganda, which don't have many subscribers, yeah. you're fighting an up upward battle yeah. you know what I mean yeah. so it's like hmm how many subscribers in oh, a few hundred thousand mm. if that well you know we'll give you low money oh. you know but but we're on there you know uh, what I'm saying thank you, thank you for for saying that because most of the times we do not know that fact right we think Nigeria is being preferred mm -hmm. over most of Africa we see no. that with the Nigerian music we see that with uh, yeah. at some point other mm -hmm. Africans are like what's up man Nigerians are now the only Africans yeah. but when you bring when you that break, insight yeah. to light yeah. it changes the whole perspective who's supporting their stuff mm. Nigerians are going to support Nigerian artists mm. Nigerian movies mm. you know what I'm saying yeah. So, okay, those are the numbers. Mm. If Rwanda, if Rwandan artist, if they're, you know, a movie comes out, a Rwandan movie, are you supporting it? Mm -hmm. You know, are you subscribing to Netflix? Yeah. Are you, who's your artist? Mm -hmm. You know, are you, you know, are you pushing him? Are those numbers on YouTube up? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have to look at that. That's the business side of it. Mm -hmm. So that, like, okay, well. Yeah. We will support this. Yeah. yeah. So a film coming out of a, of Rwanda or Uganda mm. has to be very good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Has to be very good mm. for them to say, "Oh, okay." Mm. You know, because there are a lot of gatekeepers. Like somebody's going to watch it and be like, within the first, like I was saying when we were doing it in the reading in there, within mm. the first ten minutes, am I investing in this film? Do I want to? Is it compelling enough for me to keep watching? Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's just like somebody sitting there like. And they're critiquing it. Who's the hero? <laughs> what does he want? Who is he fighting for? What does yeah, he love? Yeah. What is his goal? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Most heroes are very reluctant. Mm. You know, if you think about the Matrix, Neo, he was just like, I'm not the chosen one. Yeah, I don't want to do this. It's not me. I don't want to. No, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. But then he's like, okay, I'll do it. All right. Mm. You know? Mm. Mm. Most of the heroes are like that. Yeah. Like, why me? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you have to say, okay, mm. why this film? Why this Rwandan film? Why? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love that. Why? Why? You know, yeah. yeah. I'm Basically. taking that question yeah. to my fellow, you yeah. know, Rwandan filmmakers, man. Yeah. Let's, let's try to up the ante a little bit, yeah. raise our standard. <laughs> Rwandans, let's support our films, man. Mm -hmm. Let's get that, the subscription numbers up. And uh, to wrap up this interview, you know, mm -hmm. we can sit here and talk for hours. <laughs> but maybe to wrap up this interview, I like what you posted. Mm. A couple was it a couple weeks back mm. about about fulfillment and and it was a post about this guy talking about how money is not mm. the most important thing mm -mm. I, 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 would, I would love you know to, 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 to get your opinion on that because I found that so interesting you know you know money is not even in the top five fulfillment so 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 Talk to us about fulfillment. What do you think, and and what uh, can you? How can you inspire someone like like me or I the mean, viewer to? I guess you know deliver. fulfillment varies from person to person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. We yeah. have to find out what makes what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Some people money makes them happy. Mm -hmm. Some people traveling, eating, food. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know whatever it is. Relationships. Relationships. Yeah. Um, caring for others, mm -hmm. being able to take care of their family. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's having a farm, having a house, having this car, who knows? Mm -hmm. So you have to find out what your fulfillment is. is. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. And I always say, what kind of legacy do you want to leave? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, oh, I made the most money. Mm -hmm. What did you do with it? Mm -hmm. How did you help? 
How did you plant a tree, plant a seed? Mm -hmm. How did you build a school? Mm -hmm. How did you care for others? How did you put people through school? Mm -hmm. How did you inspire others? How did you invest in other people? Mm -hmm. What did you do to leave a legacy? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I made the most money in the world, but the money truck is not gonna follow your casket. Yeah. Yeah. Once you're buried, then what happens to that money? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's a when good you question. think about it. Yeah. But your legacy lives on and on. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Muhammad Ali now. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about Hannibal, mm -hmm. you know, Hannibal Barker. You know, you talk about today's Muhammad Ali's birthday, Martin Luther King's birthday. You know, these are legacies that are left. We're not talking about how much money they made. Mm -hmm. We're talking about how they touched the people, yeah. how they changed the world. The impact. The they impact had. they had on people. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. we'll be talking about Rhonda's president forever. Yep. For generations to come and how he changed. Yes the world, how he impacted the people, how he brought this country, the size of this country, to be big, yep. huge, huge, yeah. to attract people mm. from other countries, myself included, to come here and want to invest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's how you touch the people. I was in Cape Town and went to Robben Island where Nelson Mandela was uh, imprisoned. imprisoned. Mm. And I got to see his garden and see the cell and hear the stories of him because the guy, our guide was in prison with him. Mm. So he told us, this, or at least that's what he said, <laughs> but he told <laughs> us, you know, the stories about yeah. Nelson Mandela. Yeah. And I've never met him, you know, but I was just like, I'm interested in the greatness of this man mm. and mm. someone who can spend 30 plus years of his life in a cell. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the mental fortitude that it took to be, come from, go from prisoner to becoming a president mm -hmm. of a country. Wow. So mm -hmm. we talk about the greatness of these people, not the greatness of their bank accounts. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, sure, some people are like, oh, Masa Musa, but Masa Musa was a king. He mm -hmm. was the richest man that ever lived, but it wasn't mm -hmm. just his money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He did a lot of great things. Yes. But we're not going to be, oh, man, you know, yeah. I want to be a billionaire. Okay, you get a billion dollars. You see a lot of millionaires and billionaires in America, and they've lost their minds. Mm -hmm. I'm not calling no names. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? But they seem yeah. very extremely unhappy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying money doesn't help with your happiness because it's great to not go hungry. To cry in a Lambo. Oh, you know? <laughs> but, well, <laughs> to cry in a Lambo. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying it's, it's great to like have food on the table, be able to like my mom, if something happens with our house, I can send her some money. You know what I mean? You know, pay for school bills for my daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, just able to do things, provide, yeah. provide and get on a plane and come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, if I didn't have the money, I wouldn't be here. I'd be like, man, yeah. I'm, I'm broke, man. I gotta, you know, I gotta buy food. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. no, it's it it does allow you access, but it's more of what you do with it. Mm. How do you feed your people? How do you nourish the people? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You walk around here with, you know, I know a lot of actors and celebrities. They come here and they have bodyguards and this and that, and they don't get. A, I like to walk down the street with the people. Mm. You know what I mean? I need to see the people. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't want to, oh, you're in a five-star hotel and I don't leave. I need room service. You can be anywhere in the world in a hotel. Yeah. But I need to walk the streets with the people. I say, if someone doesn't invite me into their home to eat, mm -hmm. then it was a horrible vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't meet someone new. I didn't make a new friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the money, they say, make the money. Don't let the money make you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, you have to go hard, work hard and find something you love to do mm -hmm. and you'll never work another day in your life. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for welcome. It's been a right pleasure on, brother. Uh, having you uh, on, on Issue Show TV. Yeah. This is uh, the roundabout show. Yeah. Show TV is the best TV in the land, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you are the greatest, Tom. Huh? <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> At least that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> so I told you. So thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, love what you're doing. Uh, every time you're in Kigali, man, I'd like to invite you and cook for you. All right. Yeah, so All that right, you, you don't feel like you're so <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, man. All right, see thank you. you.